When that's finished, click the close box in the upper left corner of the window to close it. Installing the rest of the bonus pack is done in much the same way. Here's how to do it. Let's install the bonus sounds next. In order to install the bonus sounds, you must have already installed the sound control panel. If you are following our recommendations, you've done that. There are two disks of sounds. Choose Open from the File menu. Then, insert the bonus sounds one disk. Shrink it will automatically switch to that disk. Double click the sounds one SHK file. Choose Select All from the Edit menu. Then click the Extract button. Click the Volumes button. Then double click your hard drive startup partition. Ours is Q1. Then double click the System folder. Then double click the Sounds folder. Finally, click Extract. Follow the same procedures to install the second disk of sounds. We won't repeat the instructions here. There are also two disks of bonus fonts. Again, start by choosing Open from the GS Trinket file menu. Insert the bonus fonts 1 disk and open the fonts 1 SHK file. Choose Select All from the Edit menu, then click Extract. Click Volumes, then open your hard drive startup partition, Q1 in our case, and then open the System folder and the Fonts folder. Finally, click Extract. Again, follow the same procedure for the second disk of fonts. Let's install the Finder extensions next. This procedure should be starting to seem familiar. Choose Open again, then insert the bonus stuff disk. Open Finder X to SHK. Choose Select All, then click Extract. Click Volumes, then double-click Q1, or your hard drive's name. Then double-click System, then double-click System Setup. Finally, click Extract. The icons are also on the bonus stuff disk. Select Open. Then double click Icons SHK. You can skip Select All because there's only one file and it's already selected. Just click Extract. Once again, click Volumes, then open Q1 or your hard drive's name. But instead of double clicking System, open Icons. Then click Extract. Finally, let's unpack the clip art. Open Clip Art SHK. And choose Select All. Then click Extract. Click Volumes. Then double click on your hard drive's name, Q1 on our system. Finally, click Extract. GSRinket is a very useful general purpose utility program. You can use it to increase hard drive space by compressing files that you don't use very much. There's a detailed manual for Shrinket on the bonus stuff disk. When you're done installing the bonus pack, quit GS Shrinket. In a moment, the finder will appear. Choose Shutdown from the Special menu. Then click Restart, then click OK. 
When the Finder reappears, all of the Bonus Pack software will be available for you to use. In the next segment, we'll show you some basics of using the Apple IIgs desktop and Finder. Stay tuned. In this segment, we'll teach you the basics of operating 2GS desktop programs, including the Finder. If you're already an experienced 2GS user, you can probably skip this segment. The Apple 2GS features what is called a graphical user interface. That sounds complicated and technical, but really it makes the computer much easier to use. From your point of view, it means that you can use the mouse to control programs. These programs communicate with you using pictures instead of text. The 2GS user interface is called the Apple Desktop. It's the same user interface made popular by the Macintosh, and it has several advantages. First, the Apple Desktop is intuitive. Many of the things you see on the screen behave just like their real-world equivalents. For example, you probably already know how to use a calculator in real life, which means you already know how to use the calculator desk accessory included with System 6. The Apple Desktop is also direct. You operate directly on objects on the screen by clicking them and dragging them around. Just like in real life, you first select the object you want to work with, then tell the computer what to do. Finally, the Apple Desktop is consistent. When you use an Apple Desktop program, you can safely assume certain things about the way the program operates, even if you've never used it before. As you can imagine, this makes learning to use new programs considerably simpler. The Apple IIgs can also run older 2E and 2C programs. The features of the desktop, however, are only accessible when you're running 2GS specific applications. Let's look at a simple desktop program. This is the Finder. It's the first program you see when you start up System 6. You'll probably use it frequently, so it's a good place to start. As you can see, moving the mouse around on your real world desktop moves a pointer around on the screen. The pointer is a fundamental and important part of all Apple desktop programs. You'll use it to point and select things, and the pointer itself will sometimes change appearance to give you visual feedback about what you're doing. These objects here on the right-hand side of the screen are icons. Icons are used to represent disks, programs, and documents. These represent our hard drive partitions. And this is a three and a half inch disk. This is a window. In the Finder, windows are used to display the contents of disks and folders. In most other programs, windows display documents that you're working on. Windows can be moved, resized, and scrolled. Finally, take note of the menu bar at the top of the screen. The titles on the menu bar, File, Edit, Windows, and so on, describe the kinds of things you can do in a program. You can pull down on the menus to select an option or just to browse through a program's features. Be sure to check out chapters 3 and 4 of the System 6 book for more on using the Apple desktop and the mouse.